Have I mentioned my sensitivity is like all the way down? Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> How do your ears not bleed? Dude, you, you'd be surprised how, like, resistant I'm not you can actually, become. I'm not actually sure. Does the orange mean sensitivity is down? I... Or does the green mean sensitivity is down? That was a mistake. I... Orange is work? stuff that will not be picked up by the mic. Green is stuff that will be picked up by the mic. You had my sensitivity sensitivity all the way up, excuse me. Like the whole bar is orange? No, whole bar was green. Oh no, that means that your sensitivity is really high. And yeah, I know, I just turned it down. Okay. Okay. Let's see if that helps. Because auto sensitivity does not work in the place, because these guys are not consistent. Oh, I just realized I might die. Uh. Okay, no, I'm okay. Can you still... I can still hear that dog bark, but it's only one. Well, it's only one dark dog barking. Dark. I don't think I can. Now you're cutting. Now you're cutting yourself out like consistently, but I don't know if that's the internet. That's or... probably sensitivity. That's the sensitivity. Well, My well, voice is so low and like soft, it's like I can't talk over the barking. Well, I only said I wasn't sure if it was the internet because there was a very brief like five second period where they turned into a robot. You're a robot. Actually, I'm the robot here. I'm a robot. Face. Face, Face the robot. I am the robot. I am the robot. I need a robot. Oh, I, missed, I missed that show. Yeah, me too. A little bit. Are y'all right, Slick? He's waiting for you. I don't think Kaz ever watched it, probably. Based maybe. on how he's reacting, almost certainly not. Yeah, <laughs> what, what are you referencing? My life as a teenage robot. Oh. It was yeah, from the I... episode where it's like, you know, she's actually only five years old since she was built, so they sent her to kindergarten. <laughs> because Great. she was in high school. But... <laughs> yeah, it's uh... actually considered one of the worst episodes of the show, but... That's because, like, Jenny is, like... I, I know like... shit got thrown at her, but she's, like, really unreasonable. <laughs> in that episode. I kind of yeah. wish I watched more of that show. I mean, it's partly excusable because she is a robot, but at the same time... Hello, Slick. Time to cancel the membership fees of your magazines because you delete! It... I, I mean, I know she is designed as a teenager, but she should be more mature than a kindergartner. But above all, please stay with me. Have more speculation, sign. It really gives me the pleasure to see how it shapes when it comes out. No, so, fair. kiss again! Okay, now is he actually named Dupless, or is he going to be named Dupli? I'm going to try Dupless first. It's Dupless. Okay. I don't think he can change the marker text. <laughs> so it's just misleading. You have to know his name going into this game. Oh, yeah. oh, it's fucking... It's so good that Ember didn't play this before original TTYD, because he would have gotten so stuck here. I told him no, because he flat out yeah. wouldn't get some of the puzzles. Yeah, I know. I was there. I was like, you're right. He wouldn't. <laughs> Especially not this. What do you say? I cannot... Inside! 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 What now? What? When? What? What now? What? When? How are you? I feel bad. I hit B while he ran past, like I was trying to super guard him. <laughs> Is it our direction? Get your name and body, because it will hide. No. Oh, there's the Ekans. Why is it only level 1? Damn it. I need it to be level 10. Level 8,000. No. 
But yeah, I might like grind Mega Rushes and Power Rushes off screen because I, I need those. If I'm gonna one shot Bone Tail, I'm gonna need those real bad. I finally know it's still locked to my party, goddammit. Uh. Yeah, actually, you know what my favorite episodes from My Life as a Teenage Robot, I think? Was, uh, The Boy Who Called Robot. Oh, I remember that one. It's like uh, vague, I I but I remember it. it oh, was, yeah, I'm in like, danger. It's like the, uh... Where she's, he's yeah, like, was stuck. he has like a tree house or something, and he keeps calling her. Yeah, and then uh, there's uh, the guy, there's the kid that like, is like a werewolf, but not actually. And then, yeah. uh, oh my god, I forgot Tucker's uh, older brother's name. <laughs> I don't remember. He was, like, a, more of a main character than Tucker, what the hell? All I remember is he was, like, a ginger, I think. Yeah, he had red hair. I think my favorite episode of that show was the one with, like, the electric vampire, where she kept trying to augment herself to fight it. In every augment, she kept losing more and more of her body parts. <laughs> That reminds me of this one, like, Flash game where you use, like, your body parts to complete puzzles by throwing them around. But at the end, they eventually basically gang up on it using all the different, like, max suits or whatever she had. Oh, I have- I have- I sort of remember that. Yeah. Some of these bay leaves. That show also got weirdly creepy at some points. It did. But it was also, like, really interesting as far as, like, like, like uh, a, oh, God. some stuff, kind of. Like what? Well, from, like, a moral standpoint. Yeah. Like, there, there, there was the real girl suit. Like, did that ever come back? I think I remember that. that. I think, it I, think I remember twice. what you're talking about. Uh, once or twice. Right. There was a random episode where she had, like, puberty, and she turned into a monster. Oh, right. I remember that as well, actually. <laughs> and she had, like, giant- a giant forehead with bolt zits. Yeah. Uh, I remember, like, I uh, fucking know that episode. Eugene would con- I think his name was Eugene. He would constantly have the silver shell neck. Oh god, there's uh, an amazing daisy! Guys, there's an amazing daisy. Nice. Uh, I'm in danger. Did, I'm gonna try to kill did, it. <laughs> did Jenny ever find out? Uh, did Did Jenny ever find out that Eugene was the silver shell? I'm not sure. Because I I think there was a giant. I think there was actually like a four TV movie series finale featuring like, Oh I saw that cluster. Yeah, I saw that episode actually. I remember it. Okay. I don't know if the silver shell appeared in it though. Guys, random question. Does the Amazing Days have twenty HP or forty HP? I one. I think it's twenty. I wanna say it's twenty two. <laughs> I could kill it if I get enough super bounces. Six, five, four. So that's 15, and then 3. Okay, I, I can do it. Oh, it has defense! It has defense! It has defense! You forgot that it had defense? <laughs> I- yes! I've never fought this fucking thing before! Oh, there it goes. What do you think? Amazing they rarely fight anyone. They usually don't run. Until they kill you. Yeah, that's why I gave Mario a, a, a boo leaves. I, I was not confident. I thought it would, like, stick around and attack. 
But yeah, that had to be one of my favorite shows as a kid. Yeah. I, I should, like, find episodes of that on YouTube and watch it again. Like, the, the best Nicktoons uh, that weren't strictly comedies were Danny Phantom, My Life as a Teenage Robot, and... Avatar. I, 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 yeah, I Avatar was, I was, was about... Good. I was about to say Invader Zim, but no, Invader Zim is a dark comedy, so it's still a comedy. <laughs> sort of had some drama to it, not much though. Maybe it was like three episodes. Mostly dark comedy, yeah. Yeah. Invader Zim just got weird. I'm drawing a little piggy. <laughs> I remember Invader Zim a little more vaguely just because I didn't watch it that much as a kid. Uh, I had a DVD but, box set that was like shaped in Zim's house by a um, dead man. Oh, goodbye, Vivian. My cousin Vivian. had one of those too. And that's how I ended up watching most of the series. She brought it to our grandma's house. Yeah, uh, but yeah, Noah, dead man, he has the box set now. Selfie! Selfie! Selfie, selfie, selfie! Uh, contact the beauty of the screen, go! Uh, Enter the Florpus is going to be a TV movie, isn't it? What is? It's a lot of Enter the Florpus. Hold on. <clears throat> yep, yep. Yep, yep. Oh, yeah. No. Nope. You have to go back in your kennel. I don't care if you say no. I just you imagine. do not make the rules. And I just spilt your food all over the floor. Because I'm an Good idiot. Job. Don't worry, I do the same thing. I didn't know there was piranha plants in his mural. Uh, no, but Enter the Florpus, the Invader Zen movie. <laughs> oh! Hog noises! Okay, I'm about to fight, uh, Dupli again. This is gonna suck. I don't have any strategies for him that'll work. Yeah. Nice, Lick. You're so stubborn to follow the way. Oh, you're supposed to take out Coops. Did you take out Coops? Uh, no, he had Yoshi. Oh. Oh. Coops straight out references, like, knowing it's a game, and has a <sighs> conversation. Bless. Conversation, what? You cut out. Has a conversation about it with Dupless. Oh. Damn. Yeah, I think I had Yoshi out, because I... Right at the start of the stream, when I was... When I had Yoshi out for a couple of cutscenes, he was, like, fucking swearing and stuff. It was hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah, Yoshi does that occasionally. Yeah, yeah, Yoshi said, like, fuck! <laughs> like, with, when he saw the mayor turn into a pig... <laughs> Oh yeah, I think that was actually... I'm not sure. Alright kids, put on gloves in the fight! Uh, woohoo! One minute! Sure, okay. Mario. Yeah, but... We're here. Uh, you know, I was talking about, uh... The Invader Zen movie, Enter the Florpus. I think it's gonna be a 4TV movie, I don't think it's gonna... Hit theaters. Rain could not insist on it, so it was connected to the shade area. Yeah, probably. Well, we cannot afford to do anything, little Mario. I think they're doing the same thing with the Hey Arnold movie. You feel the pain, Gonzales style, human shadow. Like the one that we were supposed to get years ago. Very good. Honestly, is anyone's challenge really bigger than Mario's? Did I ever mention I wasn't allowed to watch Hey Arnold as a kid? Yeah, I think you did, and it was very confusing. <laughs> it, it's for a very stupid reason. Why? Stupid. My mom doesn't like my mom didn't like the way that Arnold's head looked, so I wasn't allowed to watch it. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Are you serious? What? No. I mean, yes. 
Yes, I, I was am. gonna. I was gonna say. Okay, good. You're not. Oh no, you're serious. Oh, you're serious. Oh no, Mario. Yes. He thought it. She thought the show looked stupid, so I wasn't allowed to watch it. Uh, I, I could understand her not wanting to watch it, but her not allowing you to watch it because she didn't like it. The fuck? What? Maybe she thought it was gonna make <laughs> him dumb. I also wasn't allowed to watch Rocket Power for a similar reason, so that was probably a better one not to watch. It, 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 it's okay, Rocket Power wasn't any good. <laughs> Mario's the man like, to bear the name and body. I remember the intro of it, and that's it. Because I remember, like, the intro would come on, and I'd have to turn it off. Right. That means you're Mario. Yes, in fact. Name, of course not. Now, I, I didn't like Hey Arnold when I was, like, younger, but... I As wish I, I would have been able up, to. It's like you know what? This actually probably would have been really good. Yeah, I yeah. wish I would have been able to grow up with it. I, I watched a, a bit of Hey Arnold. I my I I was I mostly watched Cat Dog as a kid. Oh yeah, Cat Dog. Cat Dog was good. I, I, I love and, Cat and Dog. It's weird because my mom let me watch Cat Dog. She was fine with Cat Dog, but that she didn't is let me watch. So weird. She didn't let me watch Ed, Ed, and Nettie, and didn't let me watch Hey Arnold. Fucking Ed, Ed, and Nettie? What? Dude, Ed, Ed, and Nettie's good. I don't, I don't like your mom anymore. <laughs> That's my childhood. <laughs> Man, Ed, Ed, and Nettie was the shit, dude. My mom didn't like Ed, Ed, and Nettie either, but she didn't stop me from watching it. Man, I want Ed, Ed, and Nettie to come back. My mom didn't like, I wasn't allowed to touch, so. Oh. My god. Your mom's a dictator. <laughs> Yeah. I cannot believe it. I've been helping Mario for a long time. I like idiots. You why, like does Vivian idiots? <laughs> why does Vivian always turn, like, 180? Like, she said she wanted to punish Beldum earlier, just out of the blue. And now she's like, I like idiots. She's, like, making fun of herself. What's happening here? Do you fight your friend? Well, we must not rely on her grace. Alright. I don't have a strategy. I think I'm in danger, too. See? I'm trying to think of what other things I was and wasn't allowed to watch as a kid. Get friends um, because uh, I've come out. I, I didn't really like Cat Dog. Cat Dog was just a bit like... Uh... Cat Dog was, it was like... Eh. It was okay. It was coming off of like the weird period, so... This battle's um, inevitable. I'm not in danger. I was right. actually allowed to watch Rocco's Modern Life. Of all the fucking things! Of all the things. You can watch the show with like a bunch of adult jokes, I mean, but god forbid yeah, anything else. Yeah, I was about else. to say, that's the kid show that has a, a sex line joke in it. It has a ton of, like, mature jokes in it. There's an episode where, like, I think Heifer literally this goes to big, hell. He literally goes to hell. No, 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 no. Heifer right. literally goes to hell, and there's a sign that literally reads hell, but it's crossed out, and heck is written above it. But you can still see the word hell. Right. No, but- And then Satan is called is, Peaches, for some reason. Mrs. Bighead literally tries to commit adultery with Rocco to make Mr. Bighead jealous. That is the basis of the episode. Yeah, it's- it's a mature ass. It's, it's like if Ren and Stimpy actually wasn't entirely like gross out humor and stuff, and actually had you know. Oh right, you know. there's gonna be a Rock of Modern Life movie too. Yeah, yeah, there is, and it's gonna literally be about Rock Rocco in the modern world. It's it's a movie for Aiden completely. Uh, I don't know what to do here. I'm just gonna charge, I guess. Try to one-shot him. Okay. That's so weird. There, there are other, like... Uh, there are other... Uh, Nicktoons I miss, too, like Chalk Zone. I'm sorry, Six. Mario's the only person I always liked. Here she come! Mario, oh, from yeah, now on, I, I will fight for you. I like Chalk Zone. I, I only, like, vaguely remember it, but I remember liking it. Yeah. I, did I make my choice? And I will not return. It's weird. Alright. 
be ready now. I'm not gonna bother killing the partners. It'll it'd probably be it'd probably make for some really funny lines, but it's just gonna waste my turns. Overall, it was a it had a pretty good art style for a show. Yeah, it was cool. I liked when shows were like hand drawn like that. Now everything is like flash and really lazy. To be honest, like I said, I think My Life as a Teenage Robot has one of my favorite art styles from that period. It is really Dang. unique. It's like faux 50s art. Like faux 50s. Yeah, Goodbye, D+. But it's like super angry. Oh, why? How? Door. God, you just beat the fuck out of him. Eek, Mario! That ain't Mario, bitch! Who do you think's been doing that crazy shit this whole run? Stella? 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 Huh? Um, this one. It's a me. Skeleton John. Swan Penny. Rats! You are me! All right, am I... Okay, Fire, I need to ask you. Do you remember the Christmas episode of My Life as a Teenage Robot? Wait, what happens in hell? But what if, I... what if it's his duty? No, I don't. I don't think I remember I it, it, but no one else seems to. Oh, I no. probably just missed it because I never watched TV consistently. I always went back and forth from watching TV or playing a game on... The GameCube or Wii. Oh, it's 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 gonna be one of those things. Those like also also bears. I watched it mostly through like reruns on Nicktoons. I didn't watch on Nickelodeon. But straight out, I've seen like no one reference this episode ever. Hold on. So it's making me even question if it exists or not. But I swear <laughs> it did. No way for the teenage robot Christmas not special. So basically, I think the plot of the episode is, like, the cluster somehow, like, corrupts Jenny. And as a result, on, like, from one Christmas to the next Christmas, she goes basically nuts and, on every holiday, destroys everything about that holiday. What? I Okay, and I found the episode. I actually found... She, you found it? Yeah, I actually found the episode up on Vimeo, but it... The description is of the plot is that Jenny volunteers to be a robot toy for an unprivileged tyke taught at Christmas. Only to become his unwilling remote controlled weapon in an attack on all the holidays. Yeah, there oh. it is. It isn't the cluster, it's remote control. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep, there's the video if you want to watch it. Completely free. Okay, so it did exist. Awesome. Cool. Mystery solved. <laughs> I'm satisfied. Do you, do you remember like that one episode where uh, Tucker's older brother, because I can't remember his name, we have chestnuts. Like, gets a girlfriend, but it turns out to be another robot, like an android made by evil scientists. I she don't doesn't want that. to be evil. How can I go with Mario? I love likes... others. Oh, dumb snow. I don't actually remember this one. So who's the girl, right? Because you're not a shadowy shadow? Why did gun sales take one of the shots? Nice, I, uh... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Mario, thanks for adding me. Thanks, I think you're finished. No sweat, huh? Uh, listen, Mario. Excuse me for before. Awesome, I'm happy to go with you. Didn't know it's like... Yeah. The recurring <laughs> villains that were like... <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry to interrupt, but Vivian has now joined your girlfriend. It's it's the plot of TTYD in a nutshell. Another girl joins her harem. Oh my god. But uh this is for you. Oh, what was the episode? Right, there there was the one recurring build group that was like mm -hmm. A gang of biker snake women? There's a crystal star! Star is already five years old. Mario learns art attack I as think an expert. I'm about... Or were they frogs? End of updates. I think there were might be toads or something. I think one of them was a snake. Mario conquered the thief who stole his name and appearance. Maybe. 
All right, now it's four crystalline stars, leaving only three more to discover. His efforts to collect all the crystal stars have lost more than half the time. All right, we'll start the next episode with his new friend, Viviana. But what about Velda and Lin? What happened to, to the doppelganger? You protect all games? Yeah. They, they like, reminded me of, like, the, my life as a teenage robot version of the Game Green Gang from Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, that's actually the first thing I thought of when you mentioned it. I'm like, no, that's Powerpuff Girls. <laughs> Viviana Late! Where is everything? And there's also, like, oh. the rich bitches. Oh, uh, yeah, but those were, like, just high school bullies. Yeah, they those were, like, they were antagonists. Well, they were kind of evil. 